All right. Hello to anyone out there watching this video. This is a short guide to formatting a document in APA style using Word 2010. Brought to you by the Daytona State College Writing Center. All right. First thing I'm going to do is go to Page Layout click on margins and make sure that normal is checked. This is the default setting. It's also APA's preference so it never hurts to double check. After that we'll go back to the home tab, click on the font control dialog and under font here we're going to type Times New Roman and then under size select 12 and then we'll say set as default so that we get it for the whole document. We don't have to make any more changes to the font or the size from now on. If you write a lot of APA papers, you can hit um, all documents based on the normal template. But if this is a one shot or you're going to switch between a lot of styles, then just go ahead and select this document only. All right, after that, we need to insert our header. So we're going to go over to the Insert tab and click on Header. And we'll just pick a blank, the first selection. APA likes a nice, non flashy header. Um, the thing we're going to need to do is in the Design tab here, select different first page. That's because we're going to type the words running, head, and they belong only on the first page. After that, go ahead and type a shortened version of the title you're going to use. And this will actually be your running head. After that, depending on how long your uh, running head is, we'll need to hit tab either once or twice to move it all the way to the far right. Then what next we'll put the page number itself in. So go back to insert, click on page number, and under current position select plain number. Because once again, all the focus should be on the content in APA. After that to exit the header, we'll double click anywhere below the blue line. Alright, next we're going to go back to the home tab, and under the paragraph control dialog, we're going to change the line spacing here to double and all spacing after a line to zero. Um, and this is what makes the document, the whole document, 12 point Times New Roman font. Don't have to make any more changes now. All double spaced. So we'll click OK. And then center the text and hit enter about five or six times to get yourself below the two inch marker. Next we'll go ahead and type our full title. So just type it main title, just like that. And maybe you have a subtitle that's longer than the main title. Who knows? After that, hit enter again and type your full name. And then hit enter again. Normally, uh, standard APA style here only calls for the name of your school or organization that you are producing uh, this document for. Your professor may want you to include more information like his or her name, um, the course number, the course title of the course you're in. Be sure to check with them for full details, but generally each of these items will have its own line. Um, after that, you can hit enter again, go down a few lines, write an abstract if you want, which would be a short description of the content of the paper to help people doing research decide if they want to actually read it. But, ordinate, but other than that, um, go ahead and go to insert and insert a page break so we can start the paper proper. The reason we're doing this is so that if you want to go back and edit the title page later it won't end up pushing your content of your main, p of your main paper down any farther. Um, after that we need to reinsert the running head so go back to the insert tab which we're already on click on header once again and click blank again. Now we're just going to type that running head that we typed the first time, the shortened version of your title. And once again, we'll hit tab once or twice to get over to the far right. Go back to insert, page number, current position, and pick a plain number. And now we've got a running head and a page number throughout the whole paper. We don't have to revisit this at all. So next, double click below the blue line once again. Type your main title again. Don't forget that subtitle. I'm not going to type the whole thing, but it, normally it should be the full subtitle yet again. Then hit enter, go back to the home tab, and align the text left. And we'll do one more thing. Under the paragraph control dialog, 
change the, under indentation, change the special spacing to first line. And that will indent the first line of every paragraph by a half inch automatically. After that, you can start typing. Don't make any mistakes like me. Um, after that, you can just type to your heart's content, and the text will automatically wrap itself to the second and third line. And whenever you hit enter, you'll automatically be a half inch in. Um, beyond this, there's nothing special you need to do. Um, if this video has been helpful, for you, helpful to you in any way, then please like the video on YouTube, and also, don't forget to like us on Facebook. Thanks, guys.